Hello my friends and welcome, let's go for the main news of the day. Evgeny Prigozhin, one of the leaders of the Wagner PMC, lost his life because of the aviation accident. It happened quite unexpected but very symbolic because two months ago, exactly at this date, Prigozhin started his march to Moscow. Let's check out how the situation with this plane accident developed today. So more close to the evening time, there were reports of the downed Russian military airplane. Some of the eyewitnesses even filmed the videos how this plane was flying down. Some called this plane drone and some called this plane a plane. But definitely it was the plane and quite a big one because the kaboom is big and the smoke also. Those are the debris. The airplane was downed near to Tver. We're gonna speak about the exact location a little bit later. But then I first time saw the cockpit, I realized that probably it is the commercial airplane. It looks very similar to Boeing or Airbus, well more like Airbus I would say. And here is the jet engine. And here we have the jet engine once again, so for sure this is some sort of the business jet. Also at first it was reported about four of the casualties, but it is impossible to accommodate four of the pilots in the fighter jet, so for sure it was something different. At first I thought that it could be the Tupolev 134 that actually Russia army uses, but those engine covers, the engines themselves and the painting is not looking like the standard military painting and it doesn't look like the soviet made engine either so immediately i typed on my telegram channel that this airplane is commercial business jet and later on we receive the information about the particular airplane here we go this is embraer legacy 600 registration ra 02795 this airplane was leased by the wagner group my friends before we continue with more information about this case let me tell you about the partner and the sponsor of my channel it is the atlas vpn they came out with a huge deal that was made especially for my followers where you may get the atlas vpn premium for just 170 per month plus six months for free it is a huge discount compared to their regular proposal so why the vpn service is so important if you don't care about your digital security my friends think twice five years ago i lost my pilot blog youtube channel and i have to restart it basically my device was hacked if I would have used Atlas VPN, it won't be happy. So I tried many VPNs since that time, but for Atlas VPN, I trust the most. Also, Atlas VPN grants me the full access to any kind of the series on the Netflix streaming platform. So I don't care about the government restrictions any longer. And sometimes I check the enemy side social media and for that I also use the Atlas VPN. You can basically change your virtual location to any point in the world. And Atlas VPN is so fast that you will never feel the difference whether it's on or off. But I do recommend it to keep it on all the time. And now my friends, please check out my personal link or scan the QR code somewhere on the screen where you may get the Atlas VPN Premium with astonishing discount for just 170 per month plus six months for free. This deal was made especially for my followers, so what are you waiting for? Hurry up! To join the club. All right, so business jet took off from Moscow and was heading towards, I think, Saint Petersburg. And near to the Tver city, he was hit two times by the air defense missiles. Some say it was S-300. For now, this is the version number one. However, officially, Russia would never recognize that they shut down Prigozhin's airplane for a purpose. But the eyewitnesses heard the two loud bangs and the airplane falling. However, officially Russia has already confirmed that there was explosion on board, but I guess that they will insist that it was internal explosion rather than external one. Why do I think that it was the external damage to the airplane construction? Well, you may find the video on my Telegram channel, but I took the screenshot. Yes, with this zoom, it's in very bad quality. However, you may see two of the engines and one of the wings plus the fuselage which is in one piece. If it was the internal explosion, especially on elevation, then the internal pressure is much larger compared to external one, the fuselage would kaput. And also, as you can see, here one wing is missing. 
So how the airplane lost the wing because of the internal kaboom? No, it is possible only from outside because it's the outside construction part. We also have this airplane in the list of the aviation accidents. You can see the Wagner Group, it's the owner, let's say, of this airplane. So definitely, as I thought, this airplane was flying from Moscow, Sheremetyevo to St. Petersburg, Pulkova Airport. Fatalities 10 out of 10, so 3 crew members and 7 passengers, all of them lost their lives. There was Prigozhin on board and also Utkin, the founder of Wagner PMC, whose nickname, by the way, was Wagner. That's why Wagner is called Wagner. Not much information over here. The airplane spiraled and went to the ground. Some of the links to the social media, that's it. One more evidence of why it was the Russian air defense, because there are some specific traces that were videotaped by the eyewitnesses the holes in the airplane skin and you may find lots of them in those debris those specific holes are left by the ground to air missiles those missiles carry the small metal particles that penetrate the airplane skin construction destroying it the airplane tail the vertical stabilizer the fin and the horizontal stabilizer so it was found not far away from the airplane Plane, so there were no any damages from the shrapnel but not the whole airplane is usually damaged by the shrapnel there was also one more airplane also Embraer but this time Legacy 650 and it was flying not in a formation but behind the first Embraer so after the first airplane was downed this one returned to Moscow. Some of the Russian military bloggers wrote that the crew and the passengers of the returned airplane were arrested by the Russian special forces. And definitely we are out of the information of who was on board of the second airplane. At first I thought that Prigozhin could be on this airplane, but later on the death of Prigozhin was confirmed by the Russian officials. Also, the bodies of passengers and crew members have already been identified and recovered from the crash site. The Russian aviation authorities already published the list of the passengers and the crew members who were on board of the downed Embraer. And here you can see Prigozhin Evgeny plus Utkin Dmitry who created the Wagner army. Chikalov Valery was also one of the main commanders of the Wagner group and was responsible for security of Wagner. How do we know that all of those people were on board? Because they also need to go through the check-in procedure to fly somewhere even on the private business jets. It's the normal thing. According to the International Aviation Rules, ICAO, Russia should start the investigation about this case but also Brazilian investigators should be involved in this case because this airplane is produced in Brazil. This is Embraer, so there should be representatives from that country and the representatives of the Embraer factory itself. But something tells me that Russia will not start this big investigation and will restrict it just to Russia. That is simply impossible according to the rules, but Russia doesn't care, usually. So who is responsible for downing the plane? 100% I am sure that it is Putin. Basically, after the failed attempt of the military coup, Prigozhin had no any chances. Again, it shows that you need to go for your goals and achieve them. Otherwise, someone may eat you. It also shows that no one should trust Putin. He met with Prigozhin after the military coup. They even shake their hands and Putin personally provided guarantees for Prigozhin. Plus, Lukashenko gave his own word that also doesn't mean anything. That is why I am saying it again. Ukraine should not negotiate with Putin or his circle. He will lie openly. As for Prigozhin's personality, well, I think he is a very stupid guy that he didn't go to Moscow finally. And also he is stupid that he used the airplanes flying in the Russian airspace. But he wasn't a covert. He attended the front lines. He was really at the front part of the front lines. Most of the time that he visited Donbass or the southern part of Ukraine. Prigozhin is also a war criminal, so he got what he deserved, but in the best case, he should have been prosecuted by Ukrainian courts and got his penalty. And who is the real coward over here? Again, Putin. With downing this plane, he confirmed that. He is hiding in the bunkers. He was really afraid that Prigozhin started his attempted military coup. And it wasn't played, my friends. It wasn't organized by Putin. Putin just shit his pants. 
Again, internet reacted with lots of the memes, and Prigozhin was really a meme person. There were tens of those created with his face. All right, so what Wagner PMC might do in this case that they're out of their main commanders. Well, actually, I was surprised by the organization of the Wagner army. They don't have many ranks. They have soldiers and commanders. That's it. They are very decentralized and may act independently using many of the groups. So for now, I may say that it is not over and Wagner already announced the new meeting of their remaining commanders and they promised to come out with some sort of the decision of what to do next. Obviously, the official Russian army wants to get rid of Wagner, also in Africa, so Prigozhin didn't want it to happen and he went to Moscow for some sort of the negotiations. After that, he went to St. Petersburg and Kaput. There is also a scenario that Wagner army might be eliminated or integrated into the regular Russian army, but I don't think that this variant is possible right now. Russia doesn't have enough forces to handle the Wagner army. Plus, Wagner has many of the supporters from the Russian society and from the Russian army. By performing today's assassination, Putin basically cut the large support of the army from him. Unofficially, but actually, Russia in the state of war with the Ukraine. And it's a very complicated thing to perform those acts during this very serious time for Russia. But Putin is weak, he is scared, and he did what he did. The Wagner army actually did a lot for the Russian Federation from the military point of view. They took Bakhmut, they took lots of the land around, and they were fighting in Africa. What about the Niger now? Whom Putin would send there? Shoigu? So basically eliminating Wagner is like shooting to its own strong arm. Now it is very hard to predict what might happen in Russia from the night of the long knives to that civil war. Who knows? Now let's go to the military map review. The good news are coming from Robotne. That village was liberated today by the Ukrainian army. It was yesterday and it is the confirmation that Ukraine took this village under control and we also have the video evidence. Ukraine put the state flag on one of the buildings on the southern part of this village. The next aim is Nova Prokopivka that was shot today by the aviation bombs. The video quality is not that great, but anyways, there is big kaboom in the Russian control center, in their supplies. It is the new strategy of the Ukrainian army to use as many of the aviation bombs and artillery shells as possible to minimize losses. By the way, today President Zelensky said that Ukraine is unable to withdraw the forces from the eastern part of Ukraine to send them to the south, because Russia sent more of the reinforcements to the eastern part, and if we take our forces out, there is the great risk that Russia might propel forward taking the eastern side of Ukraine. Basically, by saying so, the Ukrainian officials declined the proposal from our allies to concentrate just at one particular direction, for example, in Robotene, to take Tokmak and Melitopol with all of the army. An absolutely huge kaboom happened today in Crimea near to Olenivka. The Russian S-400 system and the very precious radar were destroyed with the help of the Storm Shadow cruise missile. Ukraine was even able to film this video from the drone. By the way, my friends, for more information, please check out my Telegram channel. You may find Find it in a video description just below and there I update regularly especially on very big topics as today. Alright, we have the first case of the surrendered Russian pilot who brought the helicopter to Poltava airfield in Ukraine. It is quite far away from the Russian border, so Russians say that the pilot just lost in navigation and was flying and saw the airport and landed and after all he realized that he is in Ukraine, but officially it it is not like that. Pilot just took the Russian helicopter and flown purposely to Poltava. There were several of the crew members, they start to resist and Ukrainian army had to open the fire, eliminating all of them. So the pilot now is in Ukraine, he is not detained, he is free to go and his family also was taken to Ukrainian territory via the third countries. The helicopter was delivered to Kyiv for the regular maintenance and pilot will get 500,000 dollars. 
to start a new life away from the dictatorship. Indeed, it is the greatest choice that Russian pilot could potentially make. The Russian and Ukrainian vehicle losses for the last three days by the Oryx resource. Totally, Russia lost 37 of the vehicles. What is interesting here that Ukraine doesn't have the losses in artillery, but Russia lost seven of the artillery systems. It means that we have the counter-artillery radars that work absolutely great. And here we have the Mi-8 transport helicopter captured, that's the one I told you before. By the Kyiv time, it is already the Independence Day of Ukraine. So, happy birthday, Ukraine. Hopefully you'll be as peaceful as before. My friends, now press the like to this video and also don't forget to check my personal link in the video description just below, where you may find the Atlas VPN with a huge discount. Atlas VPN is the great partner of my channel. My friends, I wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time.